What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Stacks Gaming, and welcome to another One Piece Monday. Before we get them, like always, I'm going to ask you to like, subscribe, check us out on Kofi. You can support us there. Every little penny counts, or even a share is just as good. One last thing before we begin, guys. Go check out OP Trading Cards on Etsy for beautiful, beautiful custom done. Check out all the cards they have there. Gorgeous cards for amazing prices. And for, if you for some reason don't like the art there, they actually make your own custom image as Don as well. Like this card right here, which will be given away to the first place winner of our very first One Piece tournament in California. So yeah, guys, go check them out. And if you use the code STACKS, you'll get 15% off extra. Yes, on top of that already amazing price with these beautiful cards. So go check them out. You will not regret it. Yellow Yamato is basically a Big Mom type deck because, you know, you kind of have to run that with yellow right now. Um, there's really no other ways of running yellow right now. But yes, let's get into it. So Dawn times one. During your opponent's turn, if you have two or less life cards, this character gains, this leader, I'm sorry, this leader gains plus 1,000 power. So it'll be a mighty 6,000, which is hard to deal with sometimes with certain decks. You know, they only want to get to the 5,000 mark to start attacking your leader. And making the 6,000 is really good for defensive ways. You do have four pudding. Check the top four for a big mom pirate type card or a Sanji. And um, add it to your hand and put the rest on the bottom. And like I said, big one type card, okay? So you can grab events. For Strusen, really good on play. You may trash one card with a trigger from your hand, which you will have tons of triggers in here. Uh, knock out one of your opponent's characters with a cost of one or less, which is really good to get rid of, you know, choppers or stuff like that. Now, as I mentioned before with Pudding, you can also search out for Sanji. You may add one card from the top or bottom of your life cards to your hand, and then basically hurt yourself with the top card of your deck and put it to life. So that's a good way of getting cards back. It's better with other decks, and you should combo, you know, leave cards on top and, you know, grab the deck. But, you know, it's also really good here just because of the 2k counter. And that's really what we want it for. Moving on, we got some more pudding. Look it up to one card from the top of you or your opponent's life cards and place it back on top or on the bottom. Really good. Um, but it's really only here also because the 2k counter. Really good. Gotta have those counters, right? Now we get into the better things, you know, basic Big Mom stuff. If at all, it doesn't already look like basic Big Mom, but yeah. So, Peril Sparrow. On knockout, look at the top three cards of your deck, reveal one Big Mom type pirate card, add it to your hand, and then place the rest on the bottom. So all these say card. So like I said, events, you can add those as well. And trigger, you may trash one card from your hand and play this card. Speaking of triggers, we got four blockers of Ruli with her trigger to play this card. I need some blockers in here, okay? The more defense, the better. I know you already have hand defense, um, but you know, some blockers on field will work good too. Especially to help out for the bigger attacks that when you know when they try to overload their characters to hit that Yamato because you're 6k. And speaking of Yamato, four cost three Yamato. So when attacking, you may add one card from the top or bottom of your life cards to your hand, and then she gains plus 2,000 power until the start of your next turn, which is okay, I guess. But you're not ever using her for the effect you want her for the 2k counter. Moving on, four Cracker also has a 1k counter. I know you can't really tell sometimes through the art. Dawn times one, if you have less life than your opponent, which you basically always will because you're trying to get to have less life, you know, to try to have her active. So, like I said, Dawn times one, if you have less life than your opponent, this character gains double attack and plus 1,000 power. And it has that you may trash one card from your hand to play this card trigger. Now, the next card, I probably should bump to four. It's a uh, three of the Rush category. Really good card, no counter, but on play, Look at one card from the top of you or your opponent's life cards and place it on top or bottom. Then if you have less life than your opponent, which like I said before with the other card, Yamato, trying to keep her two or less so you can have her active, um, he gains Rush. Really good card. Bump it to four. I, I recommend bump it to four, but three is good just as well, you know. Three Yamato, uh, just a vanilla, because it is 7k and 7k is really good in this game. You know, it makes your opponents drop two cards or waste an event to try to block it. Four of Charlotte Linen. Now we can't use the big one, the cost 10, because that one specifically says your leader must be a big mom, you know, pirates, so you could use it. So that sucks, but you have the next best thing, four of her. So on play, your opponent chooses one. To either trash one card from her life or give you an extra life from the top of your deck. Now, I was trying out this card for a while. Um, it doesn't seem to be working out. It sounds really good on paper, but when you try it, it's, it's no. I don't have the big card of Curry, right? The, the cost eight. I was trying out two Odin. Yeah. Dawn times one, this character gains double attack, and then on knockout, you may trash two cards from your hand, and get a top card of your deck, and put it into your life, so you get a free life. Sounds all good on paper, but it just doesn't really happen? I'm not sure. I, I don't know, I just seem to draw them in the worst moments. i probably replace them for the bigger card of Curry or the Rush one, or more events, honestly, because I only run six events. Two of the arrow. 
Um, I would probably replace Odin with four, making a four. Or that other event, the one that gives plus 4,000 power. I thought I had it, which I don't, so another reason why I threw in Odin. But, yeah. Maybe it's just me, he just does not like me. <laughs> but yes, two of the arrow. Counter, if you have two or less life cards, um, give your opponent's leader or character cards minus 3,000 power during this turn. So that's really good for a cost one, especially if you're playing cards, you know, against decks like Kid or Luffy that stands stuff back up. You know, you pick that leader or character, give it minus 3,000 for that attack, and then when it stands back up, it still has the minus 3,000 for the whole entire turn. So, really good card. And then, you know, trigger, trash two cards from your hand, and get a free life from the top of your deck. So yes, really good card. I only have two because I only bought one of those deck. I didn't think I would need that many, but yeah. Yes, those Odin's gotta go. But I do run four Thunderbolts as well. If you're trying to get to that two life part, you know, to get Yamato running. So main, trash one card from the top of your life and knock out one of your opponent's characters with cost five or less, which is really good as well. Cause you know, you're getting rid of a whole character that's cost five. And then trigger, same thing, knock out one of your opponent's characters of cost five or less for only the low, low cost of two dot. But yes, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, like I said, and I hope to see you all next time.